Wow. He really is a VIP. Murray's been waiting for a hip replacement for as long as I've known him. But every time he comes in... Bumped. We've jerked him around so much, then he gets on a ladder and falls. Oh, guy. I've been waiting for something like this to happen for ages. Well, don't forget the rules. You can care, but not too much. <laughs> is that a surgeon's rule? It sounds harsh, doesn't it? No, it's good. You can teach me all about it. Yeah. We've got to do something about that big heart of yours. But don't worry, I'll teach you how to be cold and calculating. CT results for Mr. Stevenson. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Oh, bigger problems in the hip. Subarach. Years on the wait list. Now a simple procedure's turned into brain surgery. I'll put him on the schedule. No, this is a VIP. He can't wait. So? I'll do the craniotomy. I didn't think you were operating today. Well, I am now. You read that gossipy thing? I did, and it was read out to me in the full hearing of the front desk. What? Everybody's talking about us. Uh, okay. Uh, but I dealt with it. Did you? Immediately. How exactly? Well, I did what you wanted. Which is? I denied everything. Of course. Mm, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Sure. Were you okay? Me? Yeah, because you had to tell a little lie. Not really. Oh. Yeah, but I didn't want your name dragged through the mud. I've had worse. Really? Oh, please. Everyone in the world's read about me and the league team. I only shagged one, <laughs> though legend says otherwise. Well, then, the last thing you need is more gossip. Well, what about you and your rep? Oh, mm, long gone. Look, I'll just follow your lead. No, no, I'll follow you. Sounds like we're ending up in the same place. Yeah, sounds like it. When do you need to pick up the car? It's ready when I am. Oh, I can drop you later. Um, Give them something to talk about. Chris, FYI, Stella is taking the lead on the sub rack. She's insisting. She's supposed to be an ED. Yeah, well, I can't boss her around, okay, so... Okay, leave it with me. I'm sorry, I won't be able to run that errand. No worries. Selena driving you crazy. Very funny. Oh, come on, you guys would make a cute couple. <laughs> What's a silly notion. Yeah, no one believes it. She loved herself... You have a visitor, Dr. Rehana. Oh, welcome, Chris. You're supposed to be an ED. Well, what can I say? I'm a rebel. You are. But I also didn't want to overload you with yet another surgery because I know you've been going all day. Oh, Harry wouldn't be that considerate. Oh, he will be sorry he's missing out on this one. Hmm. You don't agree? I'm not quite sure why he needed a day off. Well, what I know, I'm just his dad. <laughs> but I will have a serious talk to him as Prof Warner. If his personal life is getting in the way of his work, I'm not happy. Right. You agree with me on that? Of course. Rahu's outside. He's explained uh, Mr. Stevenson's situation. Yeah, this patient is a VIP. VIP. Yeah, we know. <laughs> okay. Well, preparing to evacuate the hematoma. Hang on. Ooh, don't like the look of that. That is a lot of blood. How are you going to proceed, Dr. Rahu? Um, BP's dropping. Stella? I know what I'm doing. Uh, more suction, please, Nicole, and then I need you to set up for an EVD. I'm sorry, but the prognosis is not good. Your father is on life support. I'm sorry, but we don't think he'll recover. Is that Murray's daughter? Give me the phone. Do you have someone there with you? Okay, well, the team here will keep in touch. Take care. Bye. I should have made that call. He's my patient. And I know his family. Guys. I am his surgeon. I take responsibility. So do I. Are you going to listen to me or not? Walk me through it then. He had a marked cerebral edema, but ultimately the bleed was too much. Too much for you? I did everything that I could for him. You were supposed to be an ED. Your mind wasn't in the game. That's no. not fair. It was your first day back. It was too big for you. There is nothing wrong with my hand. There are no shakes. Nothing. I'll talk to Chris. Get his opinion. Go for it. He was there, he came in midway through the surgery, saw what was going on and was the one who said there was nothing else to be done. It is one thing to care for a patient, but you are going overboard. Yeah? You need to sort yourself out. Clinical assessment here and emotions way over there. I think you know it all, don't you? Okay, fine, fine. Just be sad, feel the pain, but do not take it out on no, me. No, I'm in control. You just don't like it when you get caught out, especially when you stuff up. 